Hello guys and welcome to the channel. I am your host today. I am Gavin. This is my first video so it's going to be absolutely cringe. So we'll be reviewing his book today. But after the intro. Welcome back for my absolutely garbage intro. I don't have any ideas, I'm sorry. Uh, since we're reviewing this book today, let's just jump on into it. So, this was a very good book. I really liked it. It is the second book in the series. Here is the first book. Wow! It's called The Hazel Wood by Melissa Albert. I originally got that book for my birthday last year. It was very good. It's an adult book. It was my first adult book. And it's a, it's a very scary book, to be honest. Yeah. So, this book, I was just walking in the library, and then I ended up seeing it. And I'm like, oh, I like the first book. Why not try the second one? This one's a lot creepier than the first one. So, this is called The Night Country by Melissa Albert. And it was also very good. It was a part two of that book. And yeah, so basically the main character is a female, her name is Alice, and and Alice just got like freed from like a really creepy like fairy tale type world, which is creepy because like they're twisted fairy tales I guess you could say, they're not like Cinderella, they're like really screwed up fairy tales that like don't have fairies and magic. It's like death and blood and murder and murder and slitting people's throats and killing people and stealing their souls. But yeah, so she just got freed from her tail. And so her tail was called Alice three times. And in her tail, she was a princess and she didn't really want to get married. So she sent an impossible task to her father that if anyone could get the pure ice from the top of the mountain, then they could marry her. And then basically everyone that tried died. But, oh, she had like a really screwed up childhood and it was really painful. But so then two guys eventually do end up getting the ice that she like requested. And then they bring it to the king, and then the girl's like freaked out because she didn't think that they'd get to do it. And they weren't like princes or like epic people, they weren't like garbage people who think women are property. Disclaimer Women are not property. That is an old day term of thinking. Do not quote me on this. Women are not property, okay? Women, women are not property. But, so, the guys were basically thinking, like, oh, we can use you to clean all of our dishes and do our laundry. And yeah, bad stuff. Because women are not property. But then she was like, okay, this sounds like a really horrible life. I don't get to be a princess anymore. And then now, I gotta go to these screwed up people. So anyway, she goes with them. And during the night... She eats the pure ice, which ends up giving her like a special fairy tale power. She can now kill people by freezing them to death, just by touching them, or somehow. But so she kills the younger brother, and then the guy has to keep traveling with her and just leaves his dead brother behind. And then she kills the horse, and then the guy's like really freaking out. And then he kills. Or she kills him. It's like... No marriage for you. I'm sorry. But, so then she gets freed from her fairy tale. Because how the fairy tale world was set up. Is that everybody's fairy tale would just be constantly repeating and repeating and repeating. So she would have to live through that lifetime for all of eternity. Until she died. And she would get born again. And then she would die. And she would get born again. Just because the whole world was centered around her. Because she was the main character of the fairy tale. But. So then. 
crap. My chair just like collapsed in, I'm sorry. <clears throat> but then, in this book, sorry, that last part was about this book, The Hazelwood, and about her backstory. This one, so, she's based, everybody had their own fairy tale in the fairy tale world, and they're all part of it. And it was called the Hazelwood, because that's where they were. And then now they're, they've all just been kicked out, because the fairy tale's been broken, and then all the other fairy tales wanted freedom too, so they escaped. So yeah, they're just like, bye. And then now the person who's trying to keep all the fairy tales together, because that was her job, is like frustrated, so she kicks everybody out that didn't want to leave. While as Alice, since she was the first one to leave, the spinner, that's the name of the person who's keeping all the fairy tales together because she like spun the stories. So everyone called her the spinner. So the spinner was like mad at Alice because she wanted the fairy tales to all be normal. And if Alice was replaced with, I guess, another Alice, then all the fairy tales would not have anybody to think, oh, I can have a leader and be all free and look at me I, es I escaped holy crap maybe I shouldn't sit on this but so then after that it's okay. oh, like now they're on earth so she's with her mother Ella like she doesn't actually have a mother because the mother in the story was an evil princess or an evil queen but a woman who was kind enough to adopt her in, her name was Ella, and she didn't really adopt her, she kind of stole her out of her story in the first place, and she was brought back in the other book. But that's extra details. You can read the book. I'm sorry. But, so in this one, Ella was like, just like trying to have a normal life, and then Alice was trying to figure out how to have a normal life, because like, it's weird. But then, like, eventually the spinner like, ends up trying well, to kill her. And she turned out to be the man. main lady that was, like, trying to befriend her. So then she was, like, freaking out because all of her friends were getting killed. Because the spinner was trying to, like, impose fear on her like a terrorist. But. So. It's like her friends were all dying. And then. It was, like, very disturbing, because then, like, something would get stolen from their body after they died. Like, there were seven people that got killed. The first person was their left foot. The second person's their right foot. Third person's left hand. Fourth person's right hand. Fifth person got their eyes gouged out. Or got stolen, not gouged. Yeah, me, yeah. Then, the sixth person got their tongue cut off. And then the seventh person got their heart ripped out of their body. So, very nice. Yeah. But eventually, the spinner lures Alice yeah. into an uh, no. old abandoned warehouse yeah. type place yeah. with her boyfriend that no, was visiting, I guess, a bunch of different stories. So she wants to go find him. And then she ends up seeing the spinner there, which is creepy because she's surrounded by all the dead body parts. And then the spinner takes out a knife and then slashes Alice's arm. So then she's bleeding everywhere. And then that ends up summoning the demon that the spinner is trying to summon. Because if she could summon that demon type thing, then it would create a whole nother magical world. Where she could recreate all of her stories and there could be everybody. So, I'll read you a little thing. You like my bookmark? It's a No You Uno card I custom made. Here you can... Meme template, guys. Meme template. Okay. <clears throat> it, I would never be able to explain it. How the air shuddered against the song. How it unpeeled itself, allowing something to crawl free of nothing. The tongue sang itself two rows of bright teeth. It sang itself a skull in the stacked ivory checkers of a spinal cord. The cage and cradle of ribs and pelvis. The long bones of the limbs swarmed towards severed hands and feet. One leg blooming odd and overextended to reach Hans's foot where I dropped it. The bloody, 
the busy, bloody tumult, tumult of muscle and organ intended. So ripe I couldn't blink, couldn't breathe. Then the relief of skin sliding over it like a paper window sheet, paper window shade. It was a girl, bald-headed, its skin a calico patchwork, its eyes my dead friends. Its heart drummed so loud we could hear it through its new sprung skin. It stood like a child, back split, back swayed, belly out, Sophia's eyes in its head, a new kind of blank, washed clean of history. The creature began to move, first in a dizzy circle, like it was getting its bearings, bobbing on its one end, one odd leg, getting used to being alive. If that's what it was, then it began to dance. So, like, that was a very disturbing and creepy part of the book. I'm sorry. But eventually... But eventually, like, the thing creates a whole nother portal to a whole nother world. Right, it's like Earth starts getting destroyed because, like, to create a new world, you have to destroy an old world. So how the woman designed it is she took Earth and then killed it to make this new world, which is a horrible place because it would have been more slave people stories where women are property. Disclaimer: Women are not property. Okay, so some major themes I saw because I forgot to add this part into it. We're gonna edit in now. Okay, so some major themes inside of this book, which are very, very nice. Start off by, like, if you need help and you're struggling, ask for help. Because, like, how she needed help is, like, she couldn't figure out where to go to find the spinner. So, she summoned a demon. Disclaimer, do not summon demons. Like, you don't know what they can do. Another theme is, like, help your friends. Because, like, her friend really needed some help, so she helped her. Her friend wanted to die. Do not assist anyone in killing themselves. Disclaimer. Okay, back to the video. This part was edited in after the video was filmed, just because I forgot about it. So then, like, how they stop her is right as she's about to get into the new world. How the apparently the world's magic worked is the first person to step a foot inside of it was to be inside the new world and would have, like, full ownership of it. Like, think about creating a Minecraft world. Whoever creates it and goes inside of it first, it's their world. They get to do whatever they want to it. They can invite other people in. They can make whatever they want. Good analogy. So basically, they pushed the spinner out of the way, and then her boyfriend, Stitch, steps into there, and it's his world. And it's really creepy, because then there's a battle scene. With more knives. I think it's a switchblade. Fun. Disclaimer, do not use weapons. Yeah, so like, it was a good book. I would rate it 9 out of 10, because it gave me nightmare. And well, you should read it when you're older, so like, it doesn't freak you out. Oh, there's a lot of swear words. Would you like me to find you one? One second. Ha, you've been pranked. Swearing is bad. Please do not swear. But, so I didn't actually find a swear word. I, I actually passed by a ton of them. I just chose not to show them because no swearing in my Christian channel. So, uh, thank you guys for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you want, you can click on my channel because, like, maybe drop a like, subscribe, even turn on notifications. I don't know what I'm uploading next. But, uh, thanks for watching. And. If I upload again, I'll see you next time.